गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर दिस और दैट वीडियो टूडे एम गोना मी कंपेयरिंग टू नाइस इन माई सीरम्स बोथ हैव वेरी सिमिलर इन्ग्रीडियंट्स फॉर द मोस्ट पार्ट एंड फ्रॉम डिफरेंट ब्रांड्स विच काइंड ऑफ हैव अ सिमिलर यू नो लाइक वाइब गोइंग ऑन टू दैम बट द सेम टाइम देर आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंसेज सो आई या आई थॉट यू नो वॉट लेट मी कंपेयर दीज टू सीरम्स राइट योर बोथ हैव टेन परसेंट नाइस एंड माइंड प्लस जिंक इन दैम वन इज लाइक सुपर डुपर पॉपुलर हैज बिन अराउंड फॉर आई वॉन्ट टू सी अबाउट टू ईयर्स मे बी लाइक वन एंड हाफ यू नो ईयर्स एट दिस पॉइंट एंड देन द अदर वन इज काइंड ऑफ मोर न्यूअर इट्स अ मोर रिसेंट ब्रांड दैट इज गॉट इन वेरी पॉपुलर इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड यू नो इट्स काइंड ऑफ अप देर यू नो बोथ ऑफ देम आर वेरी मच अप देर कंपेरेबल दे कैन काइंड ऑफ यू नो compete with each other in that sort of way so i wanted to compare both of them because i have used up one bottle like one full bottle already of the nice and my 10% uh, plus zinc in the past when i had first gotten it and this is my second bottle and then this chemist that play 10% plus 0.5% zinc pca serum i did use up this bottle is actually empty i got it out of my empty has been just for the sake of this video so yes we're going to compare these two products and in case you're interested please keep watching also let me know if you have tried either of these two or if you have tried both and what your thoughts are i have a feeling that a lot of people might have actually tried out both of these products but i still wanted to do this video in case um you have tried this and you were interested in this and you wanted to know how it compares or maybe you tried this first and now you're getting around to like try the minimalist and maybe you want to know if this one is better or is it just the same because if it's the same then what's the point of you know getting both so yeah any which ways now let's jump right into it um so i'll talk about the minimalist niacinamide first because i feel like this is kind of more um you know i've had it for a while i have mentioned it in multiple holy grail and like favorites videos and stuff so um yeah earlier the packaging was actually different now they have a black um you know packaging black cap black everything with a white label and um the minimalist nice in my you guys i want to show you is more of a can you see how watery the consistency of this one is i hope you're able to tell so what i actually like about a lot of nice in my uh, not a lot of nice habit a lot of minimalist products um just in general is that all of them have a very watery consistency um this one the salicylic acid those are two that i have tried i have heard that the alpha abutin one is also very similar so what i like these um is that they will work great for people who have oily skin who don't want something that is super hydrating super you know thick um and will like feel like there is something on your skin so um if you are someone like that then i think you will absolutely love the minimalist niacinamide now when it comes to the actual um formulation and the way it works on your skin this one has really helped me over time to like help with my pores and stuff my skin is not as oily and as shiny anymore it can get shiny because of like sweat but it's not as oily anymore which i really really love and um it's just helped with my sebum production so so much over time and that's why i absolutely fell in love with it so yeah uh, in terms of effectiveness i think this product is absolutely great amazing phenomenal and you will love it and you will specifically love the minimalist niacinamide more if you have like oily skin and you want like a more watery consistency when it comes to a serum now when it comes to the chemistic play one this one i will say is a little bit more um it's got like a thicker goopier consistency it's definitely um not as viscous as the minimalist one is that being said i don't think it is too thick or you know um if you have oily skin it's not like you will not like it but i feel like you will like this one more if you have combination leaning more normal slightly on the drier side of the spectrum because um it will feel a little bit more hydrating on your skin and you will li really like the whole experience of using this particular product that being said i do also think that it is just you know it's very very similar in terms of effectiveness to the minimalist one now because i used the minimalist one first my skin had already gotten um used to like the benefits of niacinamide and like helping with the sebum production and the oiliness and all of that stuff so that's why this one did not really blow my mind in terms of like that particular aspect so it did definitely help and i can tell a difference like in my skincare in general when i am using niacinamide and when i am not using a niacinamide serum in my routine i can definitely 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 tell a difference so that's something that i also want to 
I wanted I just wanted to preface um, this by saying as well that um, no matter if you get the minimalist one or the chemist that play one just incorporate an isomide in your skincare routine and you're gonna be so 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 happy especially if you have more visible pores congestion oilier skin of sorts so um yeah personally i do think that both of them are similar i also do want to compare the price point of the two so um the pricing of the min uh, chemistry play one is not mentioned um here on the outer packaging but um for the minimalist one it is priced at rupees 600 for 30 ml and um, i don't think that minimalist has as much of discounts um as chemist play has so if you're looking for a discounted product that also comes with 30 ml as well and that you could maybe save a little bit more money on then i would suggest going for chemist play uh, whereas when it comes to minimalist um they do have discounts sometimes but it's not as often as chemist play does so um yeah do consider that as well and talking about the ingredients this one has aloe vera juice as the base this one has water then the second ingredient in both is niacinamide obviously there is propendiol which is common uh the minimalist one does have d-methyl iso isosorbide something um there is zinc pca the ingredients are definitely not super similar the chemistry play has more ingredients whereas the minimalist one true to its name has a very minimalistic ingredient list maybe like it's got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13. 13 ingredients whereas this one has like 20 i feel one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 14 15 16 17 17 ingredients and this does have more um what, what do you say like extracts and you know stuff like that so um yeah that's something that you do have to keep in mind with this one i don't think any of them will like sensitize your skin but i don't have sensitive skin either so i can't really comment on that um so yeah me personally i would say that if you have the minimalist one and you um like this is what i'm telling you from personal experience okay if you have tried the minimalist one already and you um you know how do i say this you are happy with the results of it and you just want to try out another product for the sake of it i would say you can probably pass because the chemistry play one will underwhelm a little bit like it'll be a little bit underwhelming because there is nothing revolutionary about it if you've already tried the minimalist one so i would say that you can probably pass maybe try out some other chemistry play products if you're really itching to like try out some new products and fall in love with them don't get the niacinamide serum get maybe the lactic acid serum the exfoliating one or get even the acne control serum that one has niacinamide but also azelaic acid so maybe get that one uh, get something that you will actually feel like you know is going to be exciting for you to use and if you have tried the chemistry play serum already and you are looking at getting the niacinamide again i will say that if you really like this one then just stick to this you know there is no need for you to get this too what i'm saying is that you don't need to have both of them you can easily have one or the other if you asked me to pick just because i got the minimalist one first and i've already fallen in love with it if i had to pick one i would just pick this one just because i got it first uh but this one is you know it's it's a pretty good one as well so um yeah the reason why i wanted to do this video in the first place was just to tell you guys that you don't need to have both you can easily just have one or the other and um, i personally would pick the minimalist one that being said i just want to quickly talk about a uh, minimalist and chemistry play as brands um, themselves too um i feel like minimalist is a brand which is kind of like a replacement for the ordinary if you are someone who likes uh, single ingredient based products um minimalist is your perfect go to brand uh, at the same time if you want to have a more simplistic routine i wanted to say minimalistic but then it would not suit the theme so i'm going to say simplistic routine where you have like one serum um in your morning skincare routine one serum in your nighttime skincare routine and you would rather have um serums with like multiple ingredients and multiple active ingredients specifically instead of having like separate serums that's who i would recommend um you know chemist that play for because i do think they have some great com like you know 
uh, formulations where they're combining two um, active ingredients together and just creating an amazing product so if that's what you're looking out for is a more simple routine with just two or three steps then i would suggest chemist at play for those people so um yeah overall i do love both the brands i feel like both of the brands have their own place in the market uh, some of their products can be similar to each other whereas others might not be and i am planning to do like you know more videos where i like compare for example the salicylic acid from chemist they play with the one by the minimalist um similarly when they have tranexamic acid um as well which i think is comparable so if you want me to do more comparison videos like these where i compare two similar serums from like two different brands let me know down below and i would love to do that but uh, yeah that's going to be this that's going to be it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did then definitely leave a comment down below and let me know also just let me know your thoughts in general i would love to know that too so um uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye